You've heard it before. Eat carbohydrates for energy and consume protein to build muscle. But how exactly does that happen? It happens through nutrient transportation. Nutrients are important elements that allow your body to perform daily activities. The major nutrients your body needs to function day to day are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. There are many steps involved in the process of transporting nutrients around your body. These stages must occur and work correctly to ensure that you are getting all of the nourishment your body needs to work well. Before nutrients can be transported around your body, the food you eat needs to be broken down into a more transportable size. This happens in your digestive system, which includes your mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. After food is consumed, molecules in the digestive system, called enzymes, Break down what you eat into more suitable forms, enabling your body to use food more effectively. For example, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose, protein is broken down into amino acids, and lipids or fats are broken down into fatty acids. Once your food has been broken down into movable nutrients, it moves into your small intestine where it is absorbed across the small intestine into your bloodstream by way of your circulatory system. Transporting nutrients to the cells of your body is the job of your circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of your heart, blood, and blood vessels. There are three types of blood vessels, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Nutrients are transported throughout your body through your blood via capillaries, tiny blood vessels that connect arteries to veins. Nutrients, oxygen, and waste all pass in and out of your blood through the capillary walls. After nutrients reach your blood, your bloodstream acts like a river and carries these essential elements to different parts of your body's cells that need it. For instance, let's say you just had a super hard leg workout using weights and you eat some protein after you finish. Your body will go through the digestion process, breaking down the food you ate into amino acids, and then your bloodstream will carry these nutrients to your leg muscles to help with muscle growth and repair. When there are excess nutrients, your bloodstream carries glucose and amino acids to the liver to be stored until you need them. Fatty acids use two different methods of transport. The first being the bloodstream, which moves the fat to different parts of your body for storage, and the second being the lymphatic system, which moves the fat to the chest. In summary, nutrients are important elements that allow your body to perform daily activities. The major nutrients your body needs to function day to day are carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. There are many steps involved in the process of transporting nutrients throughout your body. Digestion of food through your digestive system, which includes your mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus, along with help from enzymes which breaks down what you eat into transportable nutrients are the first two steps. Your circulatory system, which consists of your heart, blood, and blood vessels, are responsible for transporting nutrients to the cells of your body. Specifically, nutrients are transported throughout your body through your blood via capillaries, tiny blood vessels that connect arteries to veins. These steps must happen and happen well to make certain that you are getting all of the nourishment your body needs to work properly.